comprehensive news and sports. A roundup of the day's happenings, national, regional, international, all relevant, all important to you. The most comprehensive news in Trinidad and Tobago. We present the facts and you form your opinions. You'll never miss anything again. Aspire TV, online TV, you'll never miss a thing again. Good morning, I'm Suan Bengoshe with your news here on Aspire TV, Trinidad and Tobago. Attorney General Paris Arawi expects the probe of the Sports Ministry's controversial $150,000 settlement to a former employee to be concluded quite imminently. The AG gave the update in the Senate yesterday, where he also said there's no non-disclosure agreement per se on the settlement. He was responding to UNC Senator Wade Mark's queries on the matter. In March, then Sport Minister Darrell Smith was spotlighted after UNC MP Barry Padaras queried a $150,000 settlement to a former ministry employee. Details from government on the issue were limited, save that it arose from a dispute between the employee, the ministry, and the chief personnel officer. However, a witness statement on the matter which subsequently surfaced indicated allegations of sexual harassment and unwanted attentions from Smith. After that, in April, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley shifted Smith from the sport ministry to being a minister in housing. Within 24 hours of that, however, Rowley removed Smith from housing altogether on the basis of new information. Well, yesterday, the AG said it was expected the report will be delivered in the not-too-distant future. He expects it quite imminently. An 11-page document detailing personal information of 45 members of the Rasta City Gang was circulated widely on social media yesterday. According to police, this could have been done to alert members of the Central based on really ISIS gang as to the identity of Rasta City members marked for death as revenge for the recent murders of several ISIS affiliates. Well, senior police sources confirmed that the 11-page document details the photo, name, alias, last known address, and rank duty in the organization of the 45 Rasta City gang members. This comes a week after police sources spoke of information they received that ISIS hitmen were in Port of Spain preparing for an assault on the Rasta City gang once the holy month of Ramadan ends and the Eid al-Fitr celebrations are observed this Friday. Well, in response to this, Intel, police sources said that patrols and surveillance work have been beefed up in specific areas of Silots, Laventel and Mauvain. It is not only the police who are conducting surveillance work. Police sources said that Rasta City operatives have at gunpoint evicted people from their homes in Laventel in order to use the houses as lookout points to see who enters and who leaves the community. All of this, police sources said, as the gangsters prep for the arrival of the unruly ISIS. A medical intern has been removed from active duty after concerns were raised by the TNT Medical Association over racist comments she allegedly made online. Health Minister Terence Dial Singh confirmed that she was removed from duty on Tuesday. Minister Dial Singh told reporters that a full investigation has been launched into the matter. The medical intern, who is attached to a public hospital, allegedly posted several racist comments to local Facebook pages and on her own Facebook profile over the weekend of targeting the East Indian community. In other news, approximately $300,000 worth of possible tax revenue to the government is being lost on a yearly basis because customers are buying Android boxes instead of becoming paid television subscribers. Direct TV General Manager Bernard Panton says he estimates there could be as many as 80,000 Android boxes currently in the country. Android boxes allow users to stream content from the internet and are sold with pre-installed software which sometimes allow content to be streamed illegally. And this piracy is where the problem lies. The boxes can be purchased at some retail stores around the country and their prevalence is said to be impacting the revenue for subscription television, which has been dwindling in recent times. I'm Swan Ben Roche and that's a look at news here on Aspire TV, Trinidad and Tobago. Aspire TV, online TV, you'll never miss a thing again.